and welcome to Once More With Feeling quick review. Um, album I picked up yesterday, uh, didn't know the band, hadn't heard anything of them, just thought let's pick it up because the album cover looks interesting. I mean, have a look at it. It's, it's bold, bright, colourful, it's yellow background, purple skull that's hypnotised, bleeding, and the name of the band intrigued me, the charm, the fury, the album title intrigued me, the sick, dumb and happy. It, it's, it's one of those rare occasions where judging a book by its cover actually benefited me because this Now, I'm not a fan of... I'm not really that much of a fan of metalcore. I'm a bit tepid on new metal. Groove metal, it depends on the band. This is the sort of album that could make me a convert. Uh, the Charm, the Fury, Dutch, sort of new metal, groove metal, metalcore bits of thrash influences, uh, certainly taking cues from bands like Arch Enemy, especially with the vocalist, uh, or because, well, female vocalist, uh, oh, what was her name? Um, yeah, Caroline Westendorp. Uh, She's definitely taking some cues from vocalists like Angela Gossel because, well, she has that brutal female vocals that are sort of like, wait, I thought this was going to be a female fronted, okay, um, okay, I, I'm totally fine with this, I have no problems with this, in fact, I have less than no problems. This, this album, politically charged, me railing against the mainstream media, um, it goes into things like the matters of Charlie Hebdo and expectations of society and um, how you are basically consumers of the mainstream media. Um, and it's just, it's quite amazing to find an album like this that's politically charged, but not in your face lyrically. It actually manages to balance, strike the balance between being politically charged and being interesting musically and lyrically. Uh, if you want to find out more, if you want a sort of track by track uh, explanation of the various songs, th their Facebook, they've got videos on their Facebook discussing the album track by track. Uh, they've only released two parts, there's uh, four songs per part so far, so the last, hopefully they'll be releasing the third part soon and the last three songs will be on that. Uh, personal favourite, uh, Songs of Obscenity, because that is just... It feels very upbeat and charged, and there's a very live feel to it. It feels like... Th there's a certain breakdown point where it sounds like they must have recorded some of it live, getting audience participation, that sort of thing. And it really works to just get you in the mood. Um, there are no weak songs on this. There's some that make... There's one that go makes you go... Okay. That, that was a, unexpected. Um, Silent War, I, I think it was Silent War. Um, yeah, that's more of a ballad, a power ballad as they describe it, and it's sort of like, but we were just doing new metal and metalcore, what's with this power ballad? What? 
I'm confused. I'm not complaining, but I'm confused. Um, final score. Five out of five. This is the first five out of five album of the year. It would be a six out of five, but the first couple of tracks are... A They may jar slightly, but when I say they may jar slightly, I mean initially you may go, uh, 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 I'm not sure what to make of this, but when it really gets going, it completely eradicates all feelings of uncertainty and really gets, gets you going. It's... Um, Not much more to say on it, but it's almost a perfect album. If it was a perfect album, it would be a 6 out of 5. But as it stands, first 5 out of 5 album, and it's from a genre I'm not that much of a fan of. So, take that for what it's worth. I will catch you on the next Once More With Feeling with Steel Panthers Lower the Bar. Don't wait, friends, don't watch TV. Oh, can you say?